Gotta get that Red Bull in before we do this job. Alright guys, for this video I'm going to be drilling a hole in my hub and we're going to add some Staterade fluid and we're going to put some heat sinks on this bike. If I'm going off of what John Angel said on where it's supposed to be, after I saw this video on Facebook, you can see that it's actually different motor riding on this one. Mine's up here and theirs looks like it's actually on here. Anyway, where he's telling people to drill at is that little X if you can see it. And he says that you need to put it in between this bolt and the other bolt and on the back half of the motor where the numbers are at. And that's actually right where I have a little sticker, a little caution sticker. All right, so I took my little sticker off. I'm actually gonna probably drill right somewhere in the center of this, maybe a little bit off to the edge, but probably right in the bottom center of this. All right, for this job, I will be using a Milwaukee drill. <laughs> Coreless, doesn't matter what kind of drill it is. Let me see what they recommend. He says one eighth or smaller drill bit. And they have a directional arrow that shows right there. Obviously I just took mine off and that's exactly where I'm gonna drill it at. I believe this is a 332. If I, if I need to, I'll go bigger. But for now, we'll make it small. And it actually probably be better if you had a friend to help you hold the bike, but it is what it is. <laughs> All right, wasn't too bad. If you can see that, there is a nice small little hole in there. And from what I see, I don't see anything in there and there's no way you're gonna get most of the metal shavings out that kind of go in there already. But uh, John Angel, a bunch of other people said there's no issues for the mount that comes out on the other side in the hub. Cause obviously you can see there's some metal shavings down here. So shouldn't have an issue with that. Since we drilled that, now let's go get our Staterade fluid. This is how the kit comes. This is the actual Staterade fluid itself. This is some thermal grease that you put down here and then you slap these on and basically you just put a nut and bolt through them. You're gonna wanna put these on loose. But before we even get to that, uh, let's put this in. Hopefully this end is small enough. I thought it was supposed to come with something that you can stick in there. My hole's not very big. Exactly what John Angel said on his blog post is probably the size that you want to make because this hole isn't as big as this. So I decided to set my bike down. All right, so I came up with my own contraption and I did the brakes on my Suron a little while ago. Same thing can go for the Onyx. And basically I just attached a tube to it and it has a little tiny end off to it. And that should fit pretty good in here. If it starts coming out, I'll have to drill the hole a little tiny bit bigger. All right, I'm gonna save a little bit of this stuff. Clean it up just a little tiny bit and I'm gonna get some tape. Electrical tape isn't ideal for covering this up. I would say get an actual Gore-Tex patch because mine's gonna look ghetto until I get that patch in. The Gore-Tex patch you can get on I believe retrosource.com, it's a headlight website. Look up a Gore-Tex patch. Um, I'll try to put up a picture of it so you can see. But for now, I don't want anything leaking out, so we're gonna leave it like that. Now let's get the bike sitting back up. You might wanna do them loosely, one by one. It might be a little messy if you're gonna use this paste. Um, if you don't plan on using this paste, it'd probably just be straightforward. Um, I believe this is probably going to help make the stick a little bit better and get a better even contact. I'm assuming the best thing is we're just going to apply this directly onto here. This is just like the thermal paste that you would use for your CPU on your computer. Looks 100% the same. 
probably do two at a time because you do need to connect two of them I'm putting mine right in the middle because when I do smash it down it's gonna come out to the sides don't want to have too too much of a miss all right once you have two on there this might be the hard part for some people if you got bigger hands my hands are decently small but still seems like it's a little pain in the ass. And all, all these are going to go on very loosely. Well, it is going to be a problem when you got some spokes in the way. Don't worry, you're probably going to drop these nuts a lot. Because I already have a feeling I'm going to drop them. All right, first one's on. I'm just going to leave it loose because I want to connect all of them and I'm going to go through each single one of them one by one and tighten them evenly so I don't over tighten one and then I can't reach the bottom and tighten that one because there'd be too much of a gap. And so I'll speed this up for you guys so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do the whole thing. It's going to be the same process all the way around. If you want to know how to apply it the best way, this would probably be the best way instead of doing the way I was just doing. And that's pretty much it after you get all these bolted together very loosely don't make sure to tighten them until you get all of them strapped around see a little bit of my thermal paste is on the outside of it it's not too too bad and now you just have to get um basically some wrenches and uh start tightening these all down i would do them evenly if i was you i'd maybe do this halfway 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 and then just go all the way around then finally touch them up at towards the end so they're all even All right, and that's pretty much it. After you're done, just look at your work. And uh, once you get these tightened down, they will be touching each other. There will be a gap at the bottom. You probably don't want to keep over tightening them because you might snap these. And uh, mine are not moving whatsoever. It's actually moving the whole bike. And then you're pretty much done. Like I said, get a Gore-Tex patch. Do not use this. It looks kind of ghetto. I mean, unless you're cheap and don't want to spend the eight bucks to do it. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go take it for a ride, make sure everything's good on it and come back real quick. All right, guys, and that's the video. Um, next, I'm going to show you in the next coming uh, videos that I make is the temperature on this. I'll get my Android phone hooked up, and we'll go over the temperatures, and we'll see exactly what that's going to do. So from what I've been told, it doesn't change really how fast it gets up the temperature. I've just been told that what it helps with is bringing down the temperature faster. So when you come up to a light, you're actually not going to be sitting at that high temperature as long as you were before you had that if that makes any sense. So I'm definitely gonna give you guys some uh, reviews on that soon, coming later. So just stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, and uh, look for those videos in the next coming days. All right, peace out guys.